We would like to take a minute to let you know about our sponsors that help bring our content to your listening ears week after week. Hog Glue and Hog Tabs, found at AnsonPDR.com. Magnatech Mat, Mobile Tech RX. Edgy Tools, the king of PDR accessories and trinkets, where you get 15% off by using PDRTT15 on all Edgy branded tools. CBDDirectOils.com. It's not marijuana, kids. It's CBD, the all-natural alternative to help with your aches and pains. Get your life back using promo code PDRTT, where you get 10% off. For more information on our sponsors, visit PDRTooltime.com. And now for our show. Welcome to another episode of PDR Tool Time. Today's episode is 174. Uh, today, it's just going to be Mr. Vince and I. Yes. Uh, all alone. Just the two of us. Man. Yeah. I feel, we, like, yeah. feel like dad's gone. I know, He's out. Right? We're, we're raiding the liquor cabinet. We're refilling the vodka with some water. Yes. This- <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready for it. We're going to have a, a little uh, fun episode here with myself and John to... Uh, Two goofballs having some fun talking about PDR tools and uh, talking some content about PDR, and uh, we're we're actually gonna. John, why don't you tell them what we're gonna do? <laughs> we're just gonna um, we're just gonna go ahead and cold call. Uh, <laughs> you know, everybody knows we record this, uh, so this is actually being recorded on a Thursday evening. We're gonna call some people. Vince got a new board. That's how we got our badass intro thrown in there yes and uh he can hook his phone up to that thing so because we haven't cold called anybody since we were both using rotary dials on landlines <laughs> we thought this would be an appropriate time to uh put a few dim people on the spot and see what happens well let's do this let's uh the first caller we're gonna call he knows we're calling because i wanted to bring him on and talked about uh, the the state of his company right now and what is going on with the hail in the industry. And it's Dan Antrop. I'm going to give him a call here momentarily. Uh, he has PDR Contractors, which, if you guys don't know, is the network for PDR technicians to find other technicians in the area when you get hailstorms. Or if you're available, you're able to go on there and mark yourself available for other companies to call you up and work. Yeah, I, and I... Boy, the rumor mills have it going great this year for him. So yeah, uh, I'm I'm really anxious to hear. You know, uh, hail's been hitting everywhere. It's it's covering the whole whole country. So it doesn't seem you know seems like last year's drought is over. Hail people are making money, and they say what it, it's a it's a technician's year, right? That, I've heard that. It, it's a technician's year. If you're if you're on what you feel is a bad gig and you've stuck out, that's it's nobody to blame but yourself. Right. <laughs> well, on the flip side of that too, you know, we had Hail Trace on, uh, you know, many episodes ago, and yeah. he said he was predicting uh, a, an average year. An average year. But like he said, all it takes is one thing to change that, and we had yeah. multiple one things, huh? Yeah, and our usual suspects have gotten whacked. Of course, Denver's gotten hit, and Dallas has gotten hit. Uh, looks like Kansas City has been in the bullseye here, but I don't know if it it actually got hit. I hadn't checked the reports yet. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, it's it's kind of out there, kind of all over the the East Coast, and that's been a couple of years since the East Coast just got blasted really, really good. So that's kind of nice to see for you guys out there on the East Coast. And. Uh, I'm just going to pop up the old Noah and take a look and see who's getting whacked today. Yeah. Now, let me ask you this, John, because you've traveled all over the country doing hail. What, what's it like doing hail on the East Coast? Do, do you find it to be more expensive when you're getting into those bigger cities like Philly and Pittsburgh and New York? Um, I haven't got to do a lot in the Northeast. I was always in Georgia, Tennessee, that kind of area um, around Nashville, around Atlanta, Augusta. South of so, the Mason Dixon line, huh? Yeah, you know, yeah, I stayed south of the Mason Dixon line, and and expense wise, it was virtually the same. I think one of the cheapest storms I, I ever had, we had an RV site for two hundred and seventy five dollars a month. Oh wow, holy cow! <laughs> what, I probably what, used that in electricity in my bus. Were you like in fear of your life of where you were staying at all, or no? Where it was pretty, Not really, it wasn't shady we, at all. You know, <laughs> We we didn't walk over to the Waffle Hut very much. I 
was just that. Yeah. It was just a small town. It was uh, kind of a relaxing. It was super, super early in the season. Uh, it was a very laid back gig. Wife and I had a lot of fun. That's awesome. Well, cool. Well, you know what? Without further ado, let's give Dan a call here. I have him all queued up, so he doesn't know we're calling just yet, but let's surprise him. <laughs> Maybe he'll reveal some things that not everyone is supposed to hear. Oh, listen to that ring on ring, ring One ding. ringy dingy. <laughs> Two ringy dingy. Should, uh, uh, should uh. I tell him we're live? <laughs> hey, what's up, Dan Oddtrop? How's Mr. Oddtrop. Hey, I got John here too, John Renstrom. Hey, John, how's it going? Oh, it's going good. What's up, brother? Oh, All just, right. Uh, just, you know, in the middle of a hailstorm. In the middle <laughs> of the hailstorm. Do, do you care to uh, tell us where you're at or no? Uh, yeah, no, that's fine. I'm in, uh, I am in Ohio. Ohio. Oh, Ohio. Your old stomping grounds, Ohio. Man, yeah. I never got to fix yeah. ale in Ohio. I just got to drive back and forth. <laughs> yep so uh i am in ohio um me and quite a few other of uh of the compadres so yeah and, and if you hear if you hear anybody chiming in it's uh it's my son they are um up from tennessee um hanging out so, oh sweet well it's summer yeah. break well it's always summer break because they're they're homeschooled right yeah correct yeah, yeah. Well, so yeah. Yeah, so they're up. Uh, this is their second trip up, and uh, yeah, they're having a good time. So they're out at the cabin that I have, uh, with um, yeah, an awesome place to stay for a hailstorm. We got a, a pond and a pool and a hot tub and oh, firing. Jeez, that's stuff. why I love Jason Hale, man. You get all these really <laughs> cool little spots and everything. You know, you always forget about the crap holes. You do. But, you know, yeah. except for the really, really bad ones, those stick because those make the funnest stories in the bar anytime you get. Them. But, man, all the good spots, it was like, ah, you remember them forever. They were awesome. Well, yeah, so Dan, it's going well. Well, Dan, you're an avid hunter and you're from Ohio originally, right? That is correct. So yeah. you got you got all your guns with you. You ready to go uh, on the weekend and go shoot something? Well, I think this storm is going to last long enough to get me into uh, archery season for sure. And I, uh, yeah. I'm currently about an hour away from my 157-acre uh, lease um, that sweet. I have for whitetail hunting in Ohio. So, yeah, I'm pretty pumped up about that all the time. Well, dagnammit, you got it perfect, man. I'm jealous. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Well, we wanted to uh, reach out to you because, uh, you know, you, you brought a new thing to our industry this year. And you're right in the thick of it right now. And, you know, it's PDR Contractors. We were talking about it before we gave you a call. And how, how is that going? How, now that hail is hitting, it, it, I would imagine it's, it's popping pretty good now. It is. And, you know, I've told a lot of guys that have reached out to me in the last, um, the last month. It has been a crazy, um, a crazy month for me. I've had, uh, I've had 28 subcontractors this month. And at the end of this week, we'll fix almost 800 cars um, with the help from a lot of different guys. Uh, I have actually not fixed a single panel on a car. It's just been really busy. Yeah. Um, but, uh, you know, the thing with PDR contractors is I'm a technician, um, just like all the members are. So this time of the year, it's extremely tough for me, kind of juggling both, both entities right now. But it's going well, and I'm reaching out to guys uh, as much as I can. Um, and everybody's been super cool, uh, and they understand it. Um, but as soon as this storm kind of starts getting to a manageable level where, um, hopefully after the 4th of July, um, I'm going to be hot and heavy back into PDR contractors and releasing some of the new, new features that have been done. I just haven't had time to release them. And a lot of guys have been asking me about the app, um, because it's going to make, it's going to make the whole system so much use, more user friendly. And that I just talked to my software people two days ago and they said we can basically go live with it anytime we want now. Um, that being said, cool. I don't want to go live with it till I've got some time to sure. um, kind of walk everybody through it and all that. So, well, so see, look for that at the beginning of July. Yeah. See, that's so. something new, Dan. You, I didn't even know that you had an app going for it or, or yeah. was working on one. Well, you know, yeah, in the, the meantime, early April. So. 
okay. the meantime, guys, if you're wanting to use it on your phone and you don't want to be uh, typing in that address, you know, to get to pdrcontractors.com, then open up that web page. And then for those of you on Apple and you do this in Safari, open it up and at the bottom of the screen, hit the little box with the arrow out at the top of it and just add that to home screen. And it will add a shortcut right on the home screen of your phone. Looks like all your other apps. And then you can just pop open PDR contractors instead of typing it in all the time or looking for it from your history. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. It's still, it's still definitely possible. It's just once, once the app is fully functional, it's, I'm just going to make it as simple as, you know, the, the feedback and I want feedback. I want as much feedback as I can get. And in the majority of the feedback immediately was from, you know, we're all mobile in this industry. Um, very few of us are strictly, you know, one location. Um, yep. So that being said, a lot of people want a mobile app. So what do we do? We put your money back to work for you and we develop a mobile app and we're really excited to launch it here shortly. That's um, sweet. That's good. Yeah. Congratulations yeah. on that. Uh, yeah. yeah. Now with some of the feedback you're hearing back from the guys that have, have, have a lot of people been successful finding gigs so far using the, using you the know, app? I'm sorry. I, I, can't, I can't say one way or the other. I can't say this has been like amazing. Everybody's got put to work. That's a PDR contractors member. I've got some guys that have reached out to me and said they've made great contacts. They've made contacts with the local guy. The local guys found some great hail chasers. Guys have been put to work. The number of guys, I'm not sure. Um, because when hail season ramps up like it did a few weeks ago, everybody's scattering everywhere. Um, I do know me personally, I have put several PDR contractors members to work um, and guys that I didn't know before, um, you know, this season at all. Yeah. Uh, I've never done that before. Um, I was a little bit leery, to be honest, to do it this year. Um, but I needed a lot of help in a very quick amount of time. Um, so I had to go outside of my comfort zone a little bit and um, there were a few guys that reached out to me and I just said flat out, I'm only using PDR contractors members to staff my storms. Yeah, um, yeah. And I said, if you would like to, you know, fill out an application and they can still do it free of charge. So it wasn't like I was saying, you got to fill this out to even have me take a look at it. I'm going to, you know, ding you for some money that you, you may or may not think it's useful, but, <laughs> Um, but some guys joined for free and I put those guys to work, um, because I basically said, go on there, make an application. Uh, when you, when I approve you, I'll see what you have for your business options. And some of those guys checked all the boxes that I needed. And I said, Hey, you're available. Let's do it. You know, and they turned out to be great technicians that have expanded you know, my, my database, which is awesome. That's the, that's the goal. Sweet. So yeah, well, that was yeah. the whole idea of PDR contractors. So, exactly. You know, exactly. It's, for it's that even reason. working for the founder. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I will say, you know, there's some guys that joined for free that, that made a bunch of money in their back pocket and they, they were the first ones to say, I didn't really grasp the concept of this. Um, you know, I kind of thought it was just another thing that I didn't know anything about. Um, but once once they kind of grasp the concept and they see what the mission is, then it then it makes sense. Um, yeah. And it's going to take time, you know. I expect it to take time. Sure. Um, and uh, you know, but it is off to to a great start. And there's a lot of really exciting things that um, are going to be coming down the pipeline. Now that that the system and the network is built, um, last year was painstakingly difficult to get everything done in order to be launched at MTE in Orlando. Um, yeah. But this year, uh, PDR Contractors is going to be at MTE in Vegas, the PDR nice. World Cup in Branson, and MTE in Orlando. And guess what? I'm hoping I don't have to explain every piece of this pie, <laughs> yeah. and I can start serving it, you yeah. know, and let people you let the pr you know the proof be in the pudding, so they say. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. And exactly. and really get out and fine tune it, and just make minor tweaks and improvements, and not have to worry about all the 2 a.m. mornings where we're going through all the coding and the software programming and, and all those things, you know, where you make you make one correction and it causes two mistakes and, and a lot of that stuff just takes time. So yeah, yeah. Well, really John John knows all that. about that. That's for sure. He with, knows with the tech all about it. Yep. <laughs> yep. So, but yeah, yeah so with that this, many programmers. Yeah. Yeah. So this is going to be an awesome um, transition into uh, 
people are using it now this hail season. It's awesome. People are going to keep using it. But not only are the people going to keep using it, those people are out there spreading the word about it to other technicians. And we're really going to um, pound the pavement and get on board with a lot of tool manufacturers and add some cool features. And um, by the end of next year, if you are a PDR technician, you will 100%. If you care about the industry, you will know the mission and the vision of PDR contractors. Yeah. And then it's just, you know, it's up to the industry to see if they want to support it or not. So. That's awesome. Cool. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, you know, we, okay. we wish you the best of luck. We've known each other for a long time. And when you came yeah. to, it came to uh, you know, the table with this, I was really excited for you. It's something different and something that is great for our industry. And, you know, with with that in mind, I, I, I think everyone, not, not just tail guys, everyone needs to get on it. I'm on it. And, uh, yeah. you know, you have shops, stuff like that, get on there. And it's just a, a giant network that's going to help with your social media and your ranking on Google and stuff like that. So it's, yeah, it's, it's all going to help. And there's, you know, we're working on some things to, to provide discounts to the members for several different things inside the industry. So yeah, whether you're a local guy, um, that has a brick and mortar, or if you're, uh, you know, a local guy that has a route or you're a hail guy or you're all of them, um, it's meant to help everybody um mm -hmm. and bottom line help everybody in the industry to to raise the quality to raise the professionalism um at a very fair price point you know to i mean it's still free for goodness sake um if you want to join for a year um yeah. but you know i'm yeah. not i'm not doing this to for a cash grab you know this i'm doing this to better the industry and to help promote the industry and let us take charge of our industry. Yeah. You know, so. No, and that, yeah, that's good. Sure. You know, I think it's, uh, you know, it's, it means more when it's not self-serving, like, like, you know, what we do here with PDR tool time, we're not making a dime off of this. Yeah, <laughs> we're, <right. laughs> we're still here to every, you know, week after week for the last two and a half years doing it. And, uh, you know, it's, it's because we love our industry. You're, you're putting yeah, we're back. Passionate. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. We're passionate about it. So, uh, but Hey Dan, uh, we're, is there any other burning desires? We don't want to keep you too long. I know you have your family there. You know, I don't think so. I just want to, I just want to basically, tell the technicians, you know, right from the horse's mouth, like we need your support. If, if you are a technician and you want to see the future of this industry go on an uphill climb and not a downhill climb, um, you know, please support it, whether you join for free um, or whether you support us financially so we can do things like create an app, um, move forward, do software programming, um, all these things, all the money that is, is brought into this business right now is going right back into it. Um, so we are currently 257 members strong, uh, right now. I've got two applications in my inbox that I need to complete. Um, so that'll put us up to 259. Nice. Uh, so nice. there's a, been a little bit of confusion out there. Some guys will go on and they, they want to join and they fill out the application and they think they're a member. You are not a member until you get a temporary password and username. And the reason for an application is I have to screen you to make sure you are a PDR technician. Sure. Um, when I launched this, it is amazing how many people from outside our industry want to come into our industry, yeah. whether they see the money, you know, so they're trying to, to infiltrate our industry. So an application is absolutely necessary so I can fact check you. And if I can't fact check your, your social media imprint or your, your website, if you don't have that stuff, you're going to get a phone call from me. And I'm going to ask you some questions and I'm going to verify that you are a technician before you become a member. Um, and as a member, you do have to input credit card information. And I know that scares people. Um, but the reason for that is, again, to make sure we keep people out. Yeah. Um, and it's yeah. free for one year. And you get an email seven days prior to your auto renewal that states, thank you for being a member. You will be billed in seven days. If you wish to opt out, let us know. And if for some reason that gets buried in your inbox, like, like my emails do, um, and your credit card gets charged and you don't want to support this platform, call me, message me, and we will refund your money. I don't want anybody to be a member that doesn't want to be a member. You know, yeah. so yeah. Um, I just, you know, I, I hope these guys that hear this realize the good that this is doing and, and will do um, and just support it, whether it be for free or whether it be for a small annual uh, 249 forever rate, um, please support it one way or the other. Yeah, so. yeah, absolutely. And we all need to support it. And you know what, Dan, I want to thank you for coming on. Uh, we'll, we'll 
check back with you in a, a few months and see what's going yeah. on. You know, yeah, man. I, we'll, we'll get back on before, uh, before we head out to Vegas in um, yes. September. And uh, by that time, the app will be launched. Everything will be going. And I'll be in full-blown, um, you know, back to PDR contractors mode. Uh, we'll be cleaning up this storm a long time up here in Ohio. You guys but, are going to be there uh, I'm excited to get back. Yeah, yeah. We'll probably be here till. uh until deer season for sure so <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I, I won't but, doubt if you're not not got somebody there cleaning up till the end of the year did, did you say yeah, beer season or deer season <laughs> they go hand in hand Vince. you know yeah, how that goes. yeah so, i thought it was always <laughs> beer season <laughs> yeah, yeah. so but no i really appreciate you guys reaching out i appreciate you guys being huge supporters of pdr contractors always and um you know and I, i'm glad to have you guys keep spreading the word um and and no everybody know out there that there is no agenda for this. The agenda is to make this industry better. Yes. That is the agenda. Yes. You know, so yep. um, it is, it is not me doing a cash grab. I would never put my company or my name in that situation. I've worked way too hard for that. Um, I feel like I've built a very successful and reputable company and by no means would I ever do that to tarnish that. Yeah. So, um, yeah. so cool, yeah, that's man. what it is. That's the skinny. So. Well, cool. Well, Dan, thank you so much. Uh, we'll check back with you in, in, uh, in a few months and see where you're at before Vegas. Yeah. Awesome. And thank you guys for all you're doing and keep crushing it with the podcast. It's awesome. Will do. All right. Thanks, Dan. All right. Yep. Thanks. See you, Dan. All right. Bye now. Yep. Bye. Well, that was Dan Ottrop yeah. from PDO Contractors. You know, here's, here's a funny little story about Dan. Yeah. Now that he's off the air, now we can say this. Uh, <laughs> no, um, we actually signed up an uh, independent adjuster firm. Um, they were just banging their head against the wall trying to write all these cars. So they signed up with Mobile Tech RX because it was just taking them 45 minutes to write each car in their present software. Sure. So they signed up with Mobile Tech RX, and uh, I get a call from one of the guys that are doing the adjusting. And who is standing next to him? <laughs> Mr. Dan, Dan Onthrop. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it was it was pretty funny. It was I was working with those guys trying to get them all signed up, make sure they could write properly on Mobile Tech, and I was thinking, man. I hope everything goes good because I'm going to hear it from whoever the PDR company is working there. And, and then it turned out it was Dan. I'm like, I'm in the clear. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so <He'll> finish him <laughs> off. <laughs> Very cool. Very cool. Uh, hey, I got an idea. Do you want to call Steve Hamby out of Georgia? And, uh, you know, he's been doing, yeah. like you said, we were talking about Steve. He, he's doing some pretty big stuff on, on the internet lately. Let's, and Let's do it. Let's see yeah. how it how it answers okay. while you're dialing them up i'll remind everybody hey keep checking those play stores we're going to be throwing out some other updates here um for apple i know apple's coming in the next day or so and i think there's another one for android uh the teams are just banging those things out make sure we get those bug fix far behind us yeah all right what's up oh what's up hambalicious how you doing brother i'm doing good give me two seconds but for some reason I was using Luma Fusion on a little playing in the background while I'm talking to you, so I couldn't hear you. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, what in the heck is going on? Why am I still hearing that? Well, <laughs> you you might be hearing me and you're hearing John Renstrom too. I'm yeah. Here, yeah, I am two people. Okay, yeah. We, we you know what, we were just sitting here talking and we're like, you know what, let's call up Steve because Steve is doing some incredible stuff on uh, the internet lately. Not the internet, on metal, but posting yeah, it on metal. the internet. That's right. Yeah. You've been Banging out some just gnarly looking motorcycle stuff there, sir. I appreciate it. Yeah, I've been uh, getting this is this is this year has kind of gone crazy as far as motorcycle stuff has gone. I was going back through uh, all of my records ever since I started doing tanks, which was in fifteen. Yeah, and uh, I've just kind of been watching it. This year, I've done twenty one tank or twenty one jobs, not necessarily tanks, but between tanks and fenders, I've done twenty one. And you know, I mean, we're only halfway through the year, and uh, wow. huh. I'm already, I'm already a couple thousand dollars over what I did last year in tanks. Just in a, just in a half a year. Just in half a year. Yeah, that's sweet. What would you uh, attest all this uh, success to? Is it the the YouTube videos that uh, you've done, or or how are you marketing well, that? Honestly, I'm getting a ton through the website, and the only thing that I can associate that with is that on the YouTube videos, I always. At the end of the video, I'll throw up dentrepairgeorgia.com or I'll say, you know, you can reach out to us at this phone number, this email, or this website. Yeah. And um, 
So now, if you because that's you know how I got that listed under dent hogs, basically. Yeah. yeah. If you search for dent hogs, a lot of the stuff somehow, I guess by accident, really, um, will lead people to the website. Um, so hmm. I end up getting a ton, of, and I never expected to get a lot of motorcycle stuff through the website because all I don't have. I mean, I just have a. If you want a free quote, click here. There's a picture of a car that you have to click on to get uh-huh. the quote, and you have to enter in all the information and put your photos. And I get a ton of motorcycle stuff sent through there. Um, <laughs> but I'm assuming that the people that are finding it are finding it either through a YouTube video, or they're doing a Google search, and then they're seeing uh, the videos and the website and all of it kind of in the, on the same screen, on the, like same. On the same page. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But well, hey, let me ask you this: Are are you getting a lot of tanks and and fenders shipped into you, or are they local yeah, and I, dropping them yeah, off? Everything I do is shipped to me. Wow. Okay. All right. That's cool. Yeah, I've got I've I've got a few dealers that'll use me when they screw something up, and that's I mean honestly that's the same mo I get with body shops. It's like, oh, we screwed something up. Can you save us? Oh, sure. Thing. I get a lot yeah. of that. Yeah. Um, I do have I have had a few local jobs around here, and people just meet me. But most of the time, I'm getting them shipped. And uh, you, I don't know, John, if you saw the video. You may have seen it. Did you guys see the video of the map that I put up on my wall? Yeah, yeah I saw that. He's got a map. John, John, did you see that? I don't think. I might probably missed that video. It might have gone up while I was on vacation. So, so I'll have basically to hunt it down now. The idea now. was I wanted to get a map of just the U.S. and put it up on the wall. And then every time I got a bike shipped to me or something shipped to me and fixed it and sent it back, put a pin in where it came from. Just oh, so I could yeah. keep tabs on it and just kind of something fun. And I didn't realize how huge the map was that I ordered. Yeah, it's like it wallpaper, up. man. You're like covering the yeah. whole friggin' wall <laughs> in your garage. <laughs> I, I, told, uh, I told Matt that I should take a red string and like start like running a string from my house <laughs> to like each one of those pins so there's red lines everywhere. <laughs> and, uh, <I> <laughs> make, it look like, make it look like the murder map. Yeah, the murder yeah. map. Yeah. Tri- yeah. Triangulating. I'm triangulating <laughs> yeah. the dents. <laughs> but I was looking at the states that I've that I've had tanks sent to me from, and I mean they're, I mean most of them are East Coast stuff. But I've had, uh, I've had Boise, Idaho. I have uh, wow. Illinois, and I got a lot of stuff. I've got all the way up to Massachusetts and everything. And I had a guy reach out to me yesterday from Northern California, and I don't think it's going to come through just because of the job and what he's wanting and everything. I don't think it. I don't think it makes sense for him financially. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I gave him a price and we'll see if it happens. Well, uh, before you go any further and give away all your secrets, Steve, uh, yeah. we actually, we have you live. We're recording you right now. So. <clears throat> Son of a. <laughs> <laughs> I, that's, that's the one thing I don't have, but I do have a rim shot for you. No rim shot. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> well, just edit all that Northern California business out because, you know, I don't want to be on Daniel's hit list. Oh, right. <laughs> you know what I also did? I For for Daniel, I put a bench grinder on here. So every time he says bench grinder, it's just going to go like this. Bench grinder. <laughs> so. The crazy thing about that is you did that in a previous episode, and I was driving down the road with it cranked up because I had a lot of highway noise, and you hit that sound effect, and it scared me to death. <laughs> <laughs> I thought like somebody was like crashing beside me or something. <laughs> well, Vince got a new mix board, so we had to put it to use, and he, it gave him the ability to call people live on the show. So, yeah, you were the first one of the, you know first name popped into mind. Bet you he well, answers his phone. Steve always answers honored. when I call. When I call, Steve That's answers. True. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> so, like like my second wife. Yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> so, Steve, uh, I know you're probably going to MTE in uh, Orlando. Are you, you making plans to come out to Vegas or no? Uh, no, I won't be able to make Vegas. I'll yeah. definitely be in Orlando, though. Okay, good. And uh, for for everyone that don't doesn't know Steve Hamby, Steve Hamby's out of what part of Georgia are you? Macon? No, I'm in Griffin. That's like 30, 45 minutes north of Macon. Yeah, 35, yeah. 45 minutes north. So we've had Steve yeah. on in the past. Uh, you know, he's he's a great guy, excellent technician, loves tools, just like us. So <laughs> yep. uh, we figured we'd give you a call. We're going to call – name someone uh, we should call next. Um, hmm. <laughs> I, I don't know. Well, the guy – the first thing that comes to mind, you've already had us – had him on the show recently. Uh, 
Matt Moore. Yeah. I'm going to call him and play. And, and play. If you can prank him with a call like this before this show goes live, that would be awesome. Yeah. But the only <laughs> problem, it's really hard to prank people nowadays because everyone has caller ID and no one answers like unlisted numbers <laughs> nowadays. <laughs> but your number is stored in my phone. So it said of Vince Delisandro. <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, okay. Well, we won't call Matt, but you know what? I think we, we're, I was thinking about calling Gene Fetty. There you go. Gene Easy. Cause he's there you go. Mean, Gene. mean Gene. Well, his name, his new name now is Gene Easy. Just so you know, <laughs> I like it. Sounds like a rapper, right? Yeah. <laughs> he 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 got that name up in Canada of all places. You know where <laughs> the the mean streets of Canada. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, cool. Uh, I don't mean to cut you short, short Steve, but uh, we are recording, so we do need to move on. Uh, cool. but thanks this, for answering. Yeah, thanks for answering yeah, the phone, yeah. and uh, we'll hit you up again sometime when uh, you start doing other cool stuff. All right, cool. <laughs> I will. I'll, put, I'll try to come up with some other cool stuff to do then. Cool. All right, brother. <laughs> All you right, have a good see night. Ya. Bye. Now. See ya. Bye. Steve, Steve's a great guy. He, uh, yes. I met him a, a couple, two, three years ago, and just he's such a nice guy, and instantly clicked with him. Uh, great yeah. technician, uh, and oh, now he's just been rocking some just some awesome motorcycle repairs too so yeah he's his little business is gonna grow yeah so that's cool yeah so uh you know what i'm like gonna i'm gonna uh see if we could get uh gene easy on and see uh if he answers his phone Dent repair now yes i have a dent in my vehicle do you repair that don't listen to him he doesn't really have a dent in his vehicle i do i swear <laughs> it's paintless collision repair <laughs> oh well he, he hit a bridge rail does it count well i don't think does. i don't think uh they they repair dings anymore they, they only repair huge monstrous dents over there at mr yeah we just use, we just use dry ice dry ice yes dry ice, yeah. yeah especially yep. when it goes That's... all the way down the side of your dodge pickup <laughs> Exactly. That is it. <laughs> hey, what's up, Gene Easy? It's Vince and John Renstrom. Hey, what's going on? I recognize Vince's voice. Yeah, well, so, uh, we just hung out a few weeks ago. It's still fresh in your yeah. brain. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And I listened to the podcast yesterday. So. Oh, well. But, uh, yeah. There you go. Well, you know what? You're on yep. the podcast now. I got a new mixer, oh. and I'm able to call people. So this oh, whole great. episode, we're just calling people and saying hi and seeing what's going on. And uh, you got a whole bunch of stuff going on out by you with the hail damage, right? Yeah, you've been going crazy. Yeah, I'm actually, yeah we're actually pulling a, pulling a late night hail session at this very moment. Wow. And yeah. how many yeah, technicians so you a, got there? Uh, there's just two of us. And my buddy Larry here with me. Larry? We started the, we hit the, we hit the road at, right at the, hit Jumped out of bed at five this morning, and it's quarter after nine now, and oh, two wow. hours from home when we finish up. So, all right, good. Well, yeah. we won't keep you too long on here. We, what we are you just, working on? Yeah, the uh, wonderful 2018 Subaru Legacy. Ugh. Ooh, the Subaru is all the yeah. paint, all so the I, paint sticking with it on the glue poles. So far, yeah, yeah, yeah. The uh, the paint held up well, and I, I think I've only got two. Dents What's your left tips for glue pole on a Subaru? Yeah, what? Yeah, are you uh, pulling them wet? Tip. Don't be don't be afraid. No, um, the really since 2011, um, post 2011, the paint's a lot better. Um, just don't over pull. Uh, and the the dead center tabs are definitely the way to go on these rails. Okay, and you're so using just, a mini oh, lifter? No, no slide hammers. Uh, no, I no, I use the I actually use the the Drew slide hammer. Gotcha. Uh, is okay. My go to is my go to rail slide hammer with the dead center taps. It's okay. light. It's got a short throw. Um, yeah, that's definitely. So what what glue are you using now? You're kind of in the northeast still, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I've got tab weld loaded up today. That's, okay. Uh, so that's sort of my go to all purpose glue. Uh, okay. Are you dealing David, with really humid conditions? Is it pretty hot up there. Um. Uh, today is nice, actually. We're, we're actually in the mountains of Maryland. Um, it was like mid sixties, rainy, but not uh, not muggy. Okay. Um, yesterday right, in Pittsburgh so, yeah. was like dripping wet mugginess, <laughs> um, and and tab weld worked for me in both situations. So so you you're not your pole. You're not at your shop then. You're you're somewhere else, huh? 
Uh, yeah, I'm at a body shop we service. That's uh, yeah. I come down so here like four or five two hours from home. Okay, two not, hours from home. Nice, yep. not too bad. Well, you got a two no, hour no, no. you got a two hour drive tonight, or are you staying local? That's what we were just trying to figure out. I've got to be back at the shop tomorrow morning to wrap up two cars and get delivered by lunchtime. Yeah. So oh. I'm trying to decide if it's a uh, crash in the truck for a few hours here, or get a hotel and get up early, or push through. We haven't uh, we haven't made a final verdict yet. I I, I vote for the uh, not cra- crash in the truck, but get a hotel. You need a good night's yeah. rest. Yeah, and, you know. Yeah, that's probably what I'm leaning towards, or at least they. Uh, yeah. At least you know just my. I can pull in the shop here. It's just well, crashing the truck. Well, you know, Gene, you're not an old teenager or a 20-year-old anymore, you know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. Yeah. You know, the aches and pains yeah. from sleeping in uh, the back of the truck and stuff like that, that, that could catch up yeah, with you. Yeah, that's true. You know, I didn't, think, I didn't think. See, I still have that 20-something mindset, though. Yes. Right, we'll just, yeah. We'll just put a seat back. Catch a few hours would be good. Yeah. <laughs> then, then you yeah. you have the 20 mi- 20 year old mindset but you got the 45 year old recovery time. Yeah. <laughs> oh right, yeah, right. Yeah, two different worlds. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, hey, we really appreciate you taking our call and we probably we don't want to wait uh keep you up any later. You got a lot of work and and a big drive. So, we really appreciate you taking the call though. Well, thanks for calling, man. That's uh that's awesome and uh happy to happy to contribute. Yeah, and uh, I like the the audio quality sounds great. It, I was like, this sounds good. So well, good. Uh, well, hopefully it sounds yeah. good when I actually uh, put it up there on on the interweb. So, yeah, the interweb. Yes. Cool. Well, I will make sure to listen in. Who else did we guys call? Uh, we called Steve Hamby, and we had Dan Antrop on. Uh, he was planned, though. He was a planned uh, guest. Oh, nice. Guest. So, so pick someone we should call next. That's that's the Who should you that's call the game next. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe it's someone not on the East Coast, seeing that it's nine twenty there right now. So, yeah, right. <laughs> so let's go. Uh, I think you should give Clifton Atkins a call. Oh, okay. You know what? I'm not uh, sure if I have yeah. Clifton's number. Do you? Ha- can you text it over to me? I yeah, yeah I don't think I have his number. Yeah, this is my cell. I think I've got his cell. I will text you his number. Okay. Yeah, that that'll be a fun out- a conversation. I might have it. Let me yeah. see. He's Clifton. Uh, yeah. Maybe not, but just just to speed up the process, if you want to shoot it over to me, and we'll give Clifton yep, the call. Yep, I'll uh, I'll save this in as this is. Oh, yourself. you know what? I do have it. I have it. Uh, cool. All you right, we're it? good. There we're you, good. Go. you got it. Call yeah. Clifton. All right, brother. All right. All right. Have a good Perfect. night, Gene. Take, see you, Gene. Guys. All right. See you, John. All right. Bye now. Bye. Bye. Oh, uh, you gotta love Gene Easy. Gene yeah. Easy. No more mean oh, Gene. It's Gene Easy. Cranking nine o'clock at night. Still got a two-hour drive home. So. Yeah, that's definitely yeah. stop. Hope at they a get hotel. finished up soon. Get a little rest. Yes. Don't risk it. Don't risk it, people. It is okay. I cannot guarantee that Clifton is going to answer the phone, but we'll see what happens. We'll see. I've probably called him once or twice in my life. <laughs> Normally. <laughs> Clifton. Uh, Hi, Clifton. I have a hail damage car. I'm looking to get an estimate on. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, what kind of car do you have? It is a 1994. 47 Buick. 47 Buick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold on. I oh. see who it is now. <laughs> What's up, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> Not much, man. It's, uh, it's Vince. And- <laughs> I, I, I was always curious how somebody else would handle that. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, <laughs> and John Rushdown. I, 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 well, I thought you were Vince, another guy. I, uh, I got the phone and phone call. My son was on the uh, front of the car, and I was working back here on the quarter. And it said call from Vince, and I was like, "Well, maybe it's the customer." And then yeah, he said the dude, and I was like, "Okay, this is this is I know which Vince this is." Yes, this is Vince D'Alessandro, your old buddy. So, <laughs> buddy, how are you? What's going on, buddy? Not Good much. I, I also uh, I also have uh, John Renstrom on here. We we have you uh, on the podcast right now. I got a new oh. I got a new thing here, and uh, we're we're just prank calling everyone, and. Yeah. Uh, that's going to be our episode this uh, coming week. <laughs> okay, that'll work. That'll yeah, work. yeah. So, uh, what's going down there in, in Dallas? You're in Dallas, right? I am not in Dallas. I'm in uh, Cedarville right now. And where's that? Um, Cedarville. Uh, it's about an hour and a half southwest of uh, the DFW there. Okay, and you're still working at this hour, huh? I am. Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Okay. For the record, it's eight thirty uh, Central Time. Where yep. Clifton is, he's still working. You got John Trice with you too? I do not. No, no, he's uh he's uh, holding down the fort on another storm for us right now. Nice. So okay. 
what's what's going on there? How's how's the damage looking? Uh, it's a mix of damage. There's some there's some really bad stuff, but uh, overall it's not too bad. It's kind yeah. of uh pocketed, kind of spotty. Yeah. So, right. uh, what do, kinda, what are you fixing right like now? The Houston storm. What's up? What are you fixing right now? You said you're on the quarter panel. Uh, I am on a Mustang. So let's see what your model. Is. Say 2018 Mustang. Okay. Well, just remember, be careful when you pull it out to the outside. Those rims are heavily attracted to curbs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, to, known to be terrible drivers. <laughs> <laughs> well, cool. Uh, so, yeah, we just wanted to shoot you a call, Clifton, and and harass you a little bit, and you know, distract right. you. Make 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 okay. your night, you know. Today, today, well, it worked. It worked. Yeah, <laughs> we uh, we're we're honing our skills on prank calling uh, other PDR technicians, yeah. and you know, you're one of our guinea pigs. Well, better get a little so bit. What, what tool are you are you glue pulling <laughs> or pushing right now? I am. Uh, I'm, I've just got a uh, I got a dent right there by the uh, tail light, and it's uh, kind of braced up, so I'm sliding the well tail in there now. And then I'll get the get the rest with glue and. Okay. You know? See, I think this is the the cool thing. Like we we just talked to Gene Fetty. We call him Gene Easy now. That's his new nickname. Uh-huh. Uh, no more mean Gene. He's Gene Easy. And we talked to Dan <laughs> Antra. And now we're talking to you. Uh, and Gene Gene's working too. And he's an hour ahead of you. He's he's just wrapping up his day. So nice. Yeah. 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 He's glue pulling a Subaru. Oh yeah. I'm glad I'm on this Mustang, not a Subaru. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, do you have any tech tips that you've uh, noticed? What, what kind of glue are you using down there right now in Texas? Uh, right now, I'm using the hog glue. Okay. And what type so, of tabs? Yeah. Um, um uh, tequila tabs. Tequila tabs, the thumbprint yeah. or the the smooth ones. The smooth ones. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Uh, and- those were good tabs, man. I mean, a lot of money. They are good them. tabs. They're really good tabs. Those and the uh, those and the root beer are pretty much all I use. So, yeah. are you finding that the the hog hog glue is grabbing good day and night throughout the day on all poles? It is, yeah. But it's either I either use the hog glue or the uh, root beer glue now. Yeah. So I just okay. uh, I just got done working the storm with uh, uh, Lou Freeman, and he was using some root beer glue to kind of get the hog glue to stick in the humidity, and I grabbed the. Uh, he let me have some uh, root beer glue and I was chirping tires. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Root beer glue kind of, it, it sets up just a little bit harder. Um, hog glue has got a lot of uh, flex to its glue and the root beer seems to set does. up a little bit harder. So, yeah, yeah down in yeah. Dallas, so that was where my double combination as well. Root beer and hog right, had right. one in each gun. Right on, right on. Well, cool. Listen, Clifton, I know you're a, a, a working maniac and uh, we put you on the spot, so I do. <laughs> I apologize for that, but uh, oh, you're good. You're good. Uh, we don't we don't want to keep you too long to you know for our selfish <laughs> <Right> reasons. <laughs> yeah, right. we appreciate well, cool. you answering. Well, that was good. Yeah, no problem. It's good talking to you guys. Yeah, we'll have you on again when uh, you're not so busy and uh, distracted with fixing Mustangs. <laughs> I missed some. Of that. I got a call coming in. No worries. Yeah, we'll we'll catch you again when when you're not so busy. All right, sounds good. See you, Clifton. Bye, brother. All right, y'all take it easy. You too. Bye now. Bye. <laughs> uh, Clifton, he sounded busy. I didn't want to pay, poke poke the bear. Literally poke yeah. the bear. <laughs> for yeah, for our well, listeners, that's, that's the hail season. I mean, that's what my hail life was like. You know, my my wife and I, we would, I'd be pushing hail. You know, I tried to shut it off at nine o'clock. You know, unless uh, if I was working somewhere close to home, like what Gene was doing, I can't even tell you how many times I rolled back through my house door one o'clock in the morning uh because i was working two hours away you just finish up the last car it's like go home then you got two cars over there you had to fix and, yeah and there's nothing like sleeping in your own bed anyways yeah so yep but uh but, yeah that's that's awesome so uh i'm i'm not sure if we should uh test our <laughs> test our luck we've been pretty good tonight with everything uh with everything that's transpired and with I, our calls yeah i think it was a good test run yeah we got it got a chance to see it and now to keep the rest of the industry on their toes pretty good yeah now the, the one last thing i wanted to cover or john if you want to cover it uh you know it's the little little contest we got going on 
That's right. That's right. So we kind of have a little thing going here where we want you to show off your push metal gear. So what we want you to do is post some pictures on the PDR tool time, basically our Facebook page. Um, if you're not a member, you know, click that. Uh, I want to be like us, follow us and uh, post a picture of you in your push metal gear. And you're going to get a chance to win some prizes. Yes. And the prizes are, there's a little bit of an adjustment on that list right there. So I'll, I'll take it over from here. That's Yeah, that's why I was letting you have it. So, okay. So these are the prizes that we have. I have four chimps. Uh, if, you don't, if you're not familiar with the chimps, it is a, uh, a hail bar. Not a hail bar, I'm yeah. sorry. It's, it's a door hanger. It's a door hanger for your doors. Doors that have actual uh, frames to them. And it's made by Ants and PDR. It's part of their new tequila line that they've been releasing tons of tools on lately, which all of them have been fantastic since since they started doing yeah. it. Uh, so I have four chimps that I got from uh, from Anson, and I got five bags of tequila glue, and I also have five door straps, the single straps. Uh, okay. the, the door straps are a twenty four dollar value. The chimp is a seventy nine dollar value. And the glue is a $22 value. Now, what we want you to do is actually post pictures of yourselves in your push metal gear, right? Yeah, exactly. And if you don't have some push metal gear, then uh, you need to skip on over to, to their website. And I'll, you know what? I'm yep. totally unprepared this time. That was my bad. Let me, <laughs> let me get in there and make sure that I have the push metal website. And while John's finding that the, the top five, the top four posts that have the most likes will win a chimp seventy nine dollar value. The the top four, after that, everyone that has entered with a picture with your push metal gear, whether it's a banner or a hat or a t shirt, you'll be entered in to win the uh, the auxiliary prizes, which are the door straps and the tequila glue. So we will pick those at random. So there'll be an additional ten other i don't i'm not sure if that's the website there but there'll be t uh, 10 other uh prizes so make sure you post something we want to give crystal some love she does a lot of stuff for our industry and there's a lot of stuff that she does behind the scenes that people don't even know oh about yeah. so so you can just go to pushmetalgear.com okay and uh you can just click on that you can see they've got some new moisture management shirts now hudson's rocking a couple of these and he says they're awesome down there in Houston in that high humidity. Uh, they got some nice long sleeve, some short sleeve. And if you guys are like me, my forearms get pretty sweaty. And, and I have uh, I have ruined a plenty of rail for glupal and had to clean it off with alcohol just to get my old sweatiness off. Just like <laughs> glupal. So, yeah. All right, hey, John, you know what? Let's call Hudson and see if he answers and ask him about his push metal uh yeah, let's see how shirts. his moisture management shirt's been going. Yeah, let me turn that down for a second there. See if you'll answer. Who in the hall do you want? Uh, I'm sorry, could you repeat that? <laughs> I think I might have a wrong number. <laughs> I said pool hall. Who in the hall do you want? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, Mr. Hudson, we thought we would give you a call, and we're looking for a recommendation. We need some how feedback. How is your push? metal moisture management shirt been treating you down there in that humid humid <laughs> houston area well uh it's been uh, it's, it's been uh, been quite great anytime i work out i put that bad boy on and it uh whips away the sweat now wait a minute i don't uh, believe you you work out you uh, have time I work for that? out <laughs> <laughs> yeah i work out you work? I, uh, well, I try. Oh. Well, I haven't worked out in like two or three months because I've been working eighty-hour weeks for two months straight <laughs> now, just trying to get these stinking hell cars out of my shop. <laughs> yeah. Well, hey, you know what? You're like the fourth person we've called today, so we're going to ask you. You're in sweaty old uh, Houston. What type yeah. of glue are you using right now? I am currently switching between the black and the orange hog glue. Oh, okay. Okay. And uh, tabs. I think I know the answer to this, but I want to hear it from you. <laughs> uh, dead center tabs all dead day with the tab. lift right. I uh, like I I order those like 
yeah, I, I'm ordering those like crazy. They're uh, they've been a lifesaver. Like I hate glue pulling. Like I I cannot stand it. I hate it. Absolutely hate it. <laughs> but dead centers have to make me giddy. You know, it's it's funny. I I, I little... hear that more out of um, Dorting route guys on the uh, the glue, especially when you get into doing the hail, because you know, as a as a route tech, you don't do forty dents on a rail. Yeah. No. <laughs> and, and when you're doing hail, you know, so it was like as a hail guy, man, glue was awesome. Loved it. He <laughs> was my yeah. best buddy. So. Yeah, and then this this uh, hey, you know, like uh. I do maybe like, well, I maybe do 10 to 15 hail cars a year and they're all spread out. Now I've done, you know, you're doing 10 or 15 a week. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. You know, I'm pulling that out like in a week. So, uh, yeah, sorry. All right. Well, cool. Well, we were just discussing our new, uh, push metal contest and, uh, I had her, I, I had her website up. And uh, I remembered you talking about wearing that moisture management shirt that you got at uh, yeah. So because I'm, figured... I'm one of the few, I'm one of the few dent guys. Like I just when I'm out and about, like wearing other dent guy gear, just or dent related gear, just isn't my thing. Like I, if I go out of my house, I'm just gonna wear like I, I like a pocket, a pocket tee, like a shirt, a t-shirt with a pocket on it. Yeah, that's all I want. So wearing like a bunch of push metal gear is my thing, but I was like, you know what? I still want to support uh, Crystal and what she's doing, how she supports her industry. And I'm like, you know what I do is like, I'm not going to wear a pocket tee while I work out. I see she's an awesome workout shirt. I could do that. Now, and, uh, are, are, are yeah. the sleeves cut off? Tell me you cut your sleeves off. I do not cut my sleeves <laughs> off. I'm sorry. You got to try to keep that nasty funk in as much as possible. Yeah. 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 There's I'm something a sweat monster. There's I'm something gross monster. about seeing like, sweat crystals of water like dripping off of someone's well, armpit hairs right and then it's, i'm like i'm like this hairy so it, then it looks like i braided the underarm hair you know if you you know it's like you can't rock that if you can't you know that's not a, that's not the place for a set of dreads you know and I'm, and I'm weird i'm weird i wear i wear like all natural deodorant like i don't i wear like you know the all natural stuff so yeah. it's like it's basically like coconut based yeah so it's like the thick coconut cream in my armpit <laughs> <laughs> I, I gave up antiperspirant years ago. I'm like, why am I still putting not, these uh, chemicals in my armpit? Yeah, that's not um, very healthy for you. You know, and it's like, they, I still sweat through it. Why am I putting this on here? Whatever. As long as I don't smell bad. I'll tell you what, man, I switched to this, this all natural stuff. And in here in Houston, I'm in 100 degree weather. I still, like, my armpits, when I get done working, they don't smell at all. No, I, I know. It, I was on it too. I had to stop taking it, though. I, I was, uh, it was clogging my, my glands. In my armpits, well, and I was getting these sores in my glands. Oh, you can yeah. use the baking soda one. See, you got to do baking soda free. It's the baking soda that does that. Oh, okay. Huh. Yeah, I'll yeah. have to look into yeah, that. If you get baking soda free, you won't have that issue. I've done that. Hmm. Okay. And we use yeah. we use pure coconut oil soap. Just so straight coconut oil. Wife, yeah, my wife makes all of our own soap. So no way. Oh wait, yep. he makes like your own soap, or he makes your own armpit stuff. Our own soap. We haven't gone down the road of all the other lip balm stuff. She's getting ready to open uh, a, a, her own little soap shop and sell soap. Oh, that's my wife. My wife makes all of our like a lot of all of our cleaning products and all of our soap, like our hand soap at home. She's like an essential oil fanatic because we're all about that witchcraft. So you know, <laughs> she does all that juju. And well, uh, you know what? Every time we, I think about soap and making soap, I, I always go back to uh, Fight Club. You know, when they're jumping over and yeah. stealing the fat from the liposuction places <laughs> and making soap out that. of it. Yeah. So the idea of making soap is just like, oh, uh, really? Because you no, need or- fat. <laughs> you need fat to make soap, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, no, no. It's more soap you do. Like, but liquid soap, you don't. You use other, other ingredients. Okay. Well, we're actually using uh, just pure coconut oil and then the lye. So, yeah, we're not using any animal fats or anything like that. No and I'll, I'll be honest, whatever. this stupid medication I'm on was causing like tons of zits and stuff like that. And this is doing a whole lot better than my, my 15 in one hair, body, car, dishes, you know, laundry, <laughs> wheels, you the, rims. Wow. You know? <laughs> Are you seeing the joke there about like men, like men, it's like eight and one. Like you could brush your teeth, wash your hair yeah, exactly. uh, and everything with this soap. Yeah. And then like, and that, woman, it's like, here's, here's the, here's the, here's your foot wash. Here's your hand wash. Here's your elbow wash. <laughs> 
here's your feet what <laughs> yeah and and then my wife and I got to discussing this whole concept of making soap and, and she actually made our own shampoo bars and I tell you what man I cannot wear that thing out and it suds up and you know it's for short hair it's ideal I don't think it'd work very good for long haired people because it, it kind of it adds a little body to your hair yeah but I, I run a number four cut most of the time. So it's like ideal. And I've been with the same bar for like three months. <laughs> it's like, I'm, I'm into this puppy for a nickel at this stage. You know, it's yeah. like, I am saving <laughs> so much money. You, you, you know, you know what I will say? I will say, I don't care what kind of carcinogenic, carcinogenic stuff is in this stuff. I think it's all natural. But uh, Dave Streen, Edgy Tools, he sell. I believe he still carries a uh, fresh ball. Fresh balls, yes. Yeah. Still fresh believe balls. in it. If, if you if you work in a human environment, that is lifesaver all yeah. day long. Because we all know a bad underwear day is like, and it'll ruin your day. <laughs> yes. You ever have like a, you know what I'm talking about? Like you wear the underwear and like, all for some reason, that pair of underwear decides to just keep riding up or it goes up one <laughs> leg or it keeps getting stuck in an area you don't want to get stuck in. You gotta like, do that. Ruin your day. Funny walk. Got to do the funny walk. Yeah. All right. So we're All way right. off topic, Mister Hudson. Oh yeah. Sorry about that. Okay. Sorry. So, I'm Paul. I'm Paul. You can, I'm, I, I, I literally just pulled in my driveway when y'all called. No so worries. I'm like all oh, happy because I'm getting giddy at home. Well, yeah. Uh, you know what? Do you want to get to that, or do you want to? Uh, we're gonna end the I, show now. So uh, we have sorry, our new outro, and uh, we'll, you know, hang out for a second. Oh, well, that came in really loud. Sorry. <laughs> it's my new board. Okay, You're so so, fancy. so John, what do you got to say? Hey, well, first of all, thanks for everyone for uh, listening to our podcast. Absolutely, man. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in. I'm glad. For- I'm glad y'all stuck to listen to to me for this whole hour. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I want I want to throw an extra shout out to everybody that answered the phone, including you, Hudson. So that was really awesome that you guys would take that second out. Uh, Who all did y'all get? Who all did y'all get? Oh, we got Dan Antrop. We got. Mr. Gene Easy. Gene oh. Easy. Formerly known as Mean Gene Fetty. And we got Clifton Actings, which we caught oh, totally man. off guard. <laughs> and uh, we got Mr. Hudson Tansy. Yeah. Hey, man, I miss out on a good conversation. I, I feel like stupid hell cars. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know what? You could just uh, go ahead and listen to the podcast, which will air this Tuesday. And That's get all right. Oh, so. All right. All right, John. Do stupid stuff. And keep it stiff. Thanks for listening. Work it, Benny. Work it. (laughs) All right, guys. I'm going to talk to you later.